everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome to my kitchen. On today's recipe, I have Indian cuisine, and it's known for the name of alu gobi. It means uh, potato with cauliflower. You can find this whenever you visit any Indian restaurants. It's on the menu of the vegetarian side. It also goes with marinated spiced uh, yogurt, and the name is called raita. So today, you're going to learn how to make the alu gobi, and it goes with the raita. Let's go to the ingredients. For the cauliflower and potato, you need uh, cauliflower itself, some potato. I have chopped them into these sizes. Excuse me. And uh, you also need uh, some onions and uh, tomato. They're also chopped. And you need ginger garlic paste. If you don't have ginger garlic paste, you can have your own regular ginger and garlic. And for the spicy yogurt that's known as the raita, you need some yogurt, uh, some chopped cucumbers you want to make sure they chop really really tiny I have cilantro here and it also you need some salt and pepper and you will also be needing uh, cucumber uh, excuse me cumin seeds you will need to make a powder of this in order to go in with that and some spices for the cauliflower and potatoes so I have coriander turmeric salt uh, garam masala and cumin seeds and I have uh, one bay leaf this is also known as a curry leaf and two whole dried uh, ch red chili. So we'll go to the cooking side now. For the raita yogurt, I have here about four tablespoons of yogurt. You will need to add a little bit of water in this and you're gonna give it a good mix. At same time here, I have a cumin seed that I have grinded and made it into a powder that needs to go in the raita. So first of all, you need to give this a good mix. The yogurt is mixed now. Now we're gonna go ahead with the uh, cumin seed powder. You will need salt, salt is to taste. So just a little bit of salt. You need uh, black pepper. If you don't like spicy you don't have to put black pepper but usually in raita there's black pepper and um, red chili so I'm going to put a little bit this is also optional you're going to go ahead with the cucumber and uh, some cilantro I'm going to divide this for the garnishing also for the cauliflower and potato you're going to give this a mix our raita is ready here. If it's too thick, you can add a bit more water. Other than that, that's how it should look like. Now in this pan, we're gonna go ahead and cook the uh, cauliflower and potato. So you'll need some oil. Then you're gonna go ahead with the cumin seeds. About two teaspoons. And my heat is in medium. And at the same time, you're gonna put in the uh, dry spice, so two whole red chilies and bay leaf. It's been a minute I've been stirring the spices here. Now you'll go ahead with the uh, onions here. It's been about two minutes for the onions. Now you're gonna go ahead add the ginger garlic paste. It's about one and a half tablespoon here. After ginger garlic paste, I've been stirring it for another minute. You'll go with the dry spices, so I have some salt here coriander powder, one teaspoon of everything, turmeric, and some garam masala. I have been stirring this for about two minutes now. It's time to add the potatoes, mix it, and then you're going to add the cauliflower. Add the cauliflower and mix it. I have mixed this well. You're going to add about four tablespoons of water. Not too much, make sure your heat is on medium. You can cover this for about three minutes or let it sit like this. And you have to stir in main time before we go to the next step. You're gonna add the tomatoes here. You're gonna mix this and uh, make sure you cover this and leave it for 15 minutes. At the meantime, you're going to stir. And if you have non-stick, you can add a couple tablespoons of water more and let this cook for 15 minutes, good. Or more if you need to. 
Our cauliflower potatoes are ready now. I have been added a few water here, a few drops of water the, uh, the whole time. It's been a good 15 minutes. If you like spicy, this is the time to add your favorite hot spice. I'm adding some crushed chili. You can also add red chili powder if you found like spice. You can add a little bit of uh, coriander here. Give it a mix and it's going to be ready to serve. Our cauliflower potato is ready with the raita, it's also known as alu gobi. I'm serving this with my uh, Afghan naan bread. You can serve it with Indian roti or pita bread. If you like, you can garnish it with some fresh cilantro. And uh, this is ready. I thank you guys very much for watching today's show. Please do try the recipe and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.